Hey, this is chapter 12.1, sequences and series. So a sequence is a function whose domain is a set of consecutive integers. Now, within that definition of sequence, we have finite sequences. Those are, they have a limited number of terms. So two, four, six, eight. We have four terms in this finite sequence. Now, an infinite sequence has an unlimited number of terms and does not stop. So two, four, six, eight, dot, dot, dot. So for this problem, we're told to write a rule for the sequence. So first we identify the relationship between each number. So we can see that negative one cubed is one, negative one, negative two cubed, negative eight, negative three cubed, negative 27, and negative four cubed is negative 64. Therefore, our rule is a sub n equals negative n cubed. So next, we're going to be covering sigma or summation notation. And we first need to define what a series is. And a series occurs when, a term, when terms of a sequence are added. So 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8. We can write this with sigma notation, and sigma is the Greek letter sigma. And this we can write as, so we have our sigma, and the upper limit of our sigma notation is 4. Our index is 1. And our overall um, thing that we're going to be plugging into is 2i. So this is for our finite and this is our infinite. So how to use the signification is the 4 is the upper limit so we're only going to be multiplying 2 by numbers going up till 4 and we start at 1 as our index, some index of our sigma is telling us so we'll go from 2 times 1 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4. So we can see this is 2, 4, 6, and 8. These are our numbers here. Now, sigma notation is helpful instead of having to write out this entire thing. This is how we have sigma notation. And you can see this in our infinite example when we have our sigma notation in which our upper limit is infinity this time because we have an infinite um, series and our index is going to be 1 again and we have 2i. So we're told to find the sum of a series. This is um, this series has the upper limit of 8, um, k equals 4, and 3 plus k squared is what we're going to be plugging into. So now that there's 4, 4 is a number that we're starting at. So when we expand this we can write 3 plus 4 squared plus 3 plus 5 squared all the way up to 3 plus 8 squared. So when we simplify all of these we get 19 plus 28 plus 39 plus 52 plus 67. So our answer is 205. So our next problem tells us to write a series using summation notation. Based on this series, we know that our upper limit is going to be 10. Our lower, excuse me, our um, index is going to be, so we have 10, our index is 1, and the we have 25 times i, because we can tell that this is 25 times 1, times 2, times 3, etc., all the way till 10. 